Hello, I'm Logan Aguirre, publisher of 417 Magazine. Welcome to the Design Awards. When we opened up this contest like we have for so many years back in January, who would have thought this is the turn that the year would take? I hope you've been able to see the beautiful winning entries in 417 Home and Biz 417, and I'm sorry we had to make the difficult decision to not do a live award ceremony like we always do. It's something our team really looks forward to producing every year. But thank you for the ability to still present the awards in a virtual format. Year after year, we see 417 Land's very best interior designers take their work to the next level. This year, 102 entries came in for 417 Home Interior Design Awards and 22 entries for Biz 417's Commercial Design Awards. They were all incredibly impressive. The entries this year were judged by two members of the Texas Gulf Coast chapter of ACID, Letitia Ellis Haywood and Candace Rogers. All entries were judged based on their fulfillment of the required criteria. We appreciate their time and expertise in selecting this year's winners. So without further ado, let's start with the 417 Home Interior Design Award winners. The first winner I'd like to recognize is Denise Wright of DKW Designs. Denise won two of the 15 categories, including Best Bathroom and Best Bedroom. This serene bathroom reflecting a private getaway was created to bring the best of a beachside resort into the home. Denise and her team focused on making every detail reminiscent of the sea. Denise's winning designs were featured in the Summer Home Issue. Congratulations, Denise. Our next winner is Hayden Long with Elicor Design. Hayden was chosen as the winner for Best Laundry Room or Mudroom and Best Kitchen. The main priority of this kitchen was to incorporate the countryside atmosphere of the property without it feeling too contemporary. Accompanied by farmhouse-inspired light fixtures and stools, the island was transformed into the perfect spot for entertaining. Hayden's kitchen design was featured in the summer home issue and the laundry room will be featured in our next fall home issue. Congratulations, Hayden. Our final interior design award winner is Nathan Taylor with Obelisk Home. Nathan was selected as the winner in the following categories, whole house interior design, best living space, best dining area, best outdoor space, Best use of color, best use of space, most creative lighting throughout, best flooring throughout, and best use of technology. For the category of whole house interior design, Nathan worked strategically with the architects on the project to successfully and stylishly achieve the goal of the homeowners, a modern home with a classic spin. A tumbled stone fireplace, iron doors, tank toilets, tasteful wallpaper, and other timeless touches helped contribute to the aged feel that the homeowners desired, resulting in a welcoming flow throughout. Nathan's winning design for best living space, whole house interior design, and dining area were featured in our summer home issue. In upcoming issues, you'll find his winning designs for best use of space, best use of color, most creative lighting throughout, best flooring throughout, and best use of technology. Congratulations, Nathan. We'll now move into recognizing the winners of this year's Biz 417 Commercial Design Awards. We'll start with the lifestyle category. Quarry Town is an expansive project that incorporates the historical significance and the natural resources of the Galloway District. Congratulations, Matt O'Reilly and Green Circle Projects on this award-winning project. Next is the General Office and Professional Services category. Park Chris Family Dental added 6,000 square feet to its footprint without shutting down the office. That in itself is quite the feat. Congratulations Joyce Buxton and Buxton Cubic Dodd Design Collective on the award. Next is the renovation category. Century 21 Integrity Group used an existing space to their advantage and created an open and inviting space for clients and guests. Congratulations Heather Smith and Decorating Den Interiors on the renovation category award. Next is the healthcare category. The Lamar Johnson Collaborative worked with the Mercy Heart Hospital staff to create a space that worked for staff and patients alike. Congratulations, Brian Pansing at Lamar Johnson Collaborative on earning the Healthcare Category Award. Last is the Unbuilt Project Category. For this, the team at H Design Group designed a headquarters for Multiply Credit Union that is both welcoming and secure for employees and guests. Congratulations to Brian Oster at H Design Group on earning the Unbuilt Project Category Award. All of the winning commercial design entries were featured in the July-August issue of Biz 417. That concludes all of the winning categories for 417 Home Interior Design Awards and Biz 417 Commercial Design Awards. 
Hopefully you received your awards that our staff hand delivered to you. Thank you so much for all the work you do and for allowing us to showcase it in our magazines. Thank you to the Springfield Design Association for letting us be a part of your event tonight. I hope we can all hold on to our why as we continue to navigate the rest of 2020 and hope that we can be together in person next summer for our Design Award event. Thank you again and have a wonderful night.